Township here at the EV Expo. And hey, put your hands together and welcome this day to the MC, Mr. John Robinson! cosplay show before, give me a hurrah! hurrah! For those of you who have not seen a cosplay show, get ready. You are essentially about to watch Miss Universe on steroids and acid. This is a crazy, beautiful thing. It is a talent competition for people with talent and a beauty contest for people with imagination. It will be incredible. You know we're going to have a wild time because there's a man holding the ears of his son who is dressed as Superman to protect him from the noise we're about to make. That is how loud this show will be that it can bust the eardrum of the last son of Krypton. Now, we will have a beautiful time. What happens, folks, is I have 52 fantastic cosplayers over there. You might have seen them doing Gangnam Style early. It's wonderful. They will. We're playing this on school assembly rules. They will stand up when they call. Come over here and pose. When they pose, if you've got a camera, you take a photo. If you've got a photo, you take a photo. If you, for some reason, have neither of those things, if you have ADD, cheer now! Yay! It's just the kids in costume. Who knew? Who knew? Folks, pretty much goes like this. They come up, you cheer them, you applaud, you take photos. They leave, cheer the next person. Very quick, lots of fun. Let us hear a round of applause now! Welcome to the stage, Claire Asensio from Assassin's Creed 2! I see you've got it signed. Who is it signed by? Uh, some guys that made Halo 4. Some guys that made Halo 3. Wow, that's awesome. Don't tell Microsoft, they don't know their names either. Now, I just want to point out something. This is a beautiful outfit that this guy's made all by himself. Mate, you've got your LEDs here, there, on the back. Truly lovely. You've got a fantastic helmet. And my personal favourite, if you can just stand like that to the ground. Move your hand this way. One Coke bottle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands. No more six. Thanks, brother. And keep it rolling. Here is the Dragonborn, a dark assassin brother from Skyrim. As the hippie, the scout, the medic, the pyro, and scout's mum from Team Fortress 2! Alright team, 
A great big deadly pose. Point your weapons out of the crowd. Go that way. Give us a deadly pose, you guys. Like you're gonna kill somebody. Can we also, the judges are asking, can you give us a fashion spin? So turn around for a moment. Holy crumbs! I didn't mean this. The machine gun rotates. This is good. What is that? What is, that's awesome. This is looking cool. Can you give us one more pose, Ken? Ladies and gentlemen, they're already beautiful. Please clap your hands for Atmosphere! Thank you guys. And tell you what, he is the captain of the good ship Joss Whedon Musical. Here is Captain Hammer from Dr. Horrible's Sing Along Blog! Boys and girls, who likes comic books? Who likes genetically engineered assassins? Then get ready to have your beautiful, pretty fourth wall broken. It's Deadpool. Welcome to the 
le peut mère. That was cute, wasn't it? I can't decide if that guy's the best dad ever or if we need to call child services. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, ooh. Please welcome now, Nicholas, as a good old man with sunglasses in hand. He is Ryan Tremone from Resident Evil. Do 
excuse me. The same people, just slightly louder. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Kurt and Terra from Kingdom Hearts. Hello. Hi, how are you going? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Now, have you ever cosplayed before? No, I haven't. But obviously I've fallen for you. That's a terrible joke. Um, but well done. Well done. You, are, you already win a prize for being our first occupational health and safety issue of the day. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to sound silly, but this woman nearly crippled herself getting on stage. And that's effort, that's beautiful. And because it's your first time cosplaying, there's a chant that I like to see people do. Members of an audience to welcome her up to what is a strange and elusive family. So if on the count of three, you can all begin to chant, one of us, one of us, over and over again, to welcome young Yuna in here, here we go. One, two, three, go! You like her, she likes you. Clap your hands for you now. Now, folks, this is the star of a song that you might remember from 1992, Tale as Old as Time. Hold up. Not you. Look out, clown man. We're about to have a crossover. Hold up, hold up mate. Come in, come in. In first. <laughs> You come back in a second, okay? <laughs> yeah, him first. <laughs> Scary clown, you, you'll go away. Tommy, <laughs> this is the only time where you will ever see a man boss around a scary clown because it's a giant clock's go. <laughs> now, Cogsworth can't make it up the stairs. So, folks, if you want to stand up, whatever you want to do, this is worth getting a photo of. See if we can find you. Hello? Hello? Cogsworth! For a start, why would you dress as Cogsworth? I have too much big time. <laughs> Welcome to the EB Expo, that's how we all got it. <laughs> yeah. Mate, did you make it all yourself? Oh, yes, I did. Tell me how long it took you. Well, that's a tale that's all the time. <laughs> you for that if I can find a place to five. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands please for Cogsworth! <laughs> and now folks, please welcome him to the stage. It's an obscure cosplay and one of my favourites. Here's Nathan and Sweet Tooth, oh, sorry, Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. Welcome Roxas from Kingdom Hearts 2! You may not see 
each other. These were the sort of people who enjoy a first person shooter and the sheer joy of getting your ass handed to you by a nine year old Korean boy on Xbox Live. Welcome the forces of justice, soldiers of fortune from Call of Duty, Counter-Strike and Days. Applause, you know that they are awesome. One more time, soldiers of fortune! And here he is now, Kakashi from Naruto! <laughs> I'd like to draw your attention to what is a very funny joke indeed. Kakashi from Naruto, reading the Madman Guide to Upcoming Anime. Very smart man. Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands, Kakashi! you. And here, Sebastian has terror from, we've heard it before, but we're happy to see it again, Kingdom Hearts! Question brother. Tell us of your enormous sword. My enormous sword? Yes. Tell us of your weapon. My weapon can unlock your heart to darkness. I don't know why I'm smiling, that's really creepy. But that's cool. And what is it made of? Your soul. Did you say your soul and then do this? I like you very much indeed. Can you just give us a little turn so we can all take in your gauntlet here? Now, what is this made of? Um, plastic. <laughs> That's very good and not at all biodegradable. Well done, mate. One more pose if you'd be so good. We continue our joy, our great big swords. Here is Antonius as a swordsman from Ragnarok Online 2! You have some serious style, you know that? Thank you. Very welcome. How long have you been cosplaying? Uh, one and a half year. One and a half years, this is a damn fine result, mate. Well done. Thank you. Very, very welcome. Ooh. Now, can you just give us, just come up over here. Come over here. Can you do, can I have a look at your sword? Have you made this? Um, yes, pretty much half of it. Okay, okay, what is the sword composed of? Um, that's the wood on the core, PPC, PPC on, for the handle and foam for the cage. Fantastic, brother. Can you also tell us a little bit about your armor? Um, the armor is practically made of foam and I just um, 
put all the leather, synthetic leather outside and that's it. Yeah. It's cool man, it's lightweight, it's stylish, it looks good. Give us one more pose please. Maybe a really sort of, I don't know, kind of hard, aggressive pose. It's time to get ever so faintly adorable and ever so faintly terrified. Here now is the Chroma Black Mage Final Fantasy Chocobo Dungeon! Thanks for not actually doing that. <laughs> awesome. 
Dead. Pardon me? I know. Good job, mate. Tell you what, can we give one great big round of applause right now? And now, ladies and gentlemen, Dara as Lara Croft! Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands. She's done the battle damage. Lara Croft. Now, folks, this man is, I do believe, a member of the medical profession. Or at least a scientist. Him you now is Professor Stein from Soul Eater. most beautifully. Folks, here now is Angus as Brick from a little game called Borderlands! Oh, no. Bring the light, bring it down. Right. Every once in a while during a cosplay competition, I'll make a mistake. However, on this occasion I've made the same mistake twice. I knew this person wasn't here and I called them out like they were. Now, I'm not going to punish myself for this, I'm going to punish all of you. So please welcome to the stage an invisible ninja.
Now folks, Monty play the days away. Here's Mary as Mad Moxie from Again, we quest to Hyrule. Here is Mitchell as the wonderful Link from the Legend of Zelda. She has skinned the white rabbit and is wearing his skin. You'll sleep well tonight. That's good. Processing takes the white out. Fair enough. Tell me please about your special eyes. They allow me to see what is unseen. What is unseen in this room? All the hidden levels. I can jump up and get extra little ingredients and teeth. I like teeth. I like your teeth. I like collecting teeth. I like your feet. I want you to show us your feet a bit there. Now you've made all this yourself, yes? Yes, I have. The only, the only thing I didn't make was the hat and the wig. Everything else I made. Tell us about making it. Lots of headaches, no sleep, and lots of fun when it's finished. No, very good. Okay, thank you. Now, my dear, one more pose if you'd be so good. Folks, it's a beautiful outfit. Let's see some of those cameras flashing. And those of you with free hands, clap please. Alice, madness returns. The time has now come for us to return to the finest decade in the universe, the 1980s. Back when things were genuinely frightening. Back when Ripley Scott didn't need to explain where the things that spat acid in your face came from. Back when Arnold 
Schwarzenegger could kill anything, accompanied by Jesse the Body Ventura. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alien vs. Predator! Okay, folks, your outfits are outstanding. How can, where are you in there? Okay, let's try this. Hello? Hello. My dear, these are tremendous outfits. Have you been wearing them all day? Yes. We are slowly dying. I'm going to tell you by the end of this, it will have all been worth it. These are absolutely tremendous. Tell us the story of your outfits and the making of them. Uh, I've accidentally ripped off a uh, board at home with super glue or makeup. Uh, I have used three year old condoms to make the tendons on the mouth. So, everyone who comes up and kisses me. That didn't go where we were expecting, that was awesome. Now, hello Predator. Um, you know, we're gonna need, there we go, here we go. Sometimes we're best mates, sometimes we're enemies. This is fantastic. You've put together a group. Actually, just while we're here, can you just turn your face just over to them and just take a step forward? Those of you with a zoom lens, just zoom in here because the actual area where the mask and the sort of thing ends. You're right. I don't care what he said either. Let's pay attention to this. Check out. You actually can't see a seam between the mask and the eyes. It looks exactly like we have a live predator here. And the eyes are terrifying. The hair extensions are great. The tendrils with the little skulls on them. The detail is immaculate. My alien friend. Look at these incredible, you know, you have the incredible claws there. The mouth extends beautifully. And can you just give us a little turn so we can see the tail? The weapon's amazing. The bone's hanging off. Wonderful. Alright you guys, I'm going to get out of your way. Give us another magical pose.
Continuing a theme. Nathan, a British zombie from Zombie U! Ladies and gentlemen, oh, hold on, hold on. I'll tell you what, we need to give both of those people an absolutely incredible round of applause. That was imaginative, that was fun, that was gold. And I will just point out as well while we're here, this jazz music that we're playing, how weird did that make the zombie girl just for a second? Just a little sultry. Here's Emmanuel as a Sabrak from Star Wars!
It's time to go to an underwater realm of nightmare. If you have ever been stuck inside a steampunk kind of, I don't know, perhaps a strange millionaire has built a place under the sea. Give it up, please, for Georgie and Dakota as the little sisters from Bioshock! children. You're amazing. Tell you what, girls, just turn around this way and pose for us again. Folks, in this case, the scarier and the better. Clap your hands for our little sisters! And now, it's time to get shirtless. Ladies and gentlemen, former star of Jordan Beckner's 1990 classic, reimagined in 2004, here is the Prince of Persia! Stage is dressed as a character none of us have ever heard of. Here's Jake 
as Batman for the Dark Knight Rises!
best, mate. I like this very much. Can you just give us one more pose, looking out at those guys? Hey, tell you what, can you also, because you're an angry bird, when you're looking at those guys, can you make an angry face as well? Like, Fantastic, mate. Thanks for coming along and playing. Clap your hands for Bo! And here now is Cody as Itzio from Assassin's Creed! Dude! Hello! Hello. You are the happiest assassin I've ever seen. Sure am. Yes, you are. Yeah. Now, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven? You yeah. Come over here. Right. You like Assassin's Creed? Yes, I do. What's the best thing about it? You kill people. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, I don't like to think that video games breed violence, but if you grow up to be a serial killer, I won't be surprised. <laughs> Mate, you're great. Can you pose for those guys? What sort of thing would your boy do? That's cool. Just for fun, can you do a blend as well? Ladies and gentlemen, here's the handsomest man in Florence. Give it up for Ezio! And the time has now come for our final act. We have set a land speed record in getting through 52 acts. Folks, here is Kit Vista from Star Wars! Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, Kid Vista! Beautiful! Now folks, now we've seen every single act, let's have a massive, massive round of applause every cosplayer who got on stage! What's going to happen now? is the judges are going to head off and they're going to figure out today's winners. This could take anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. You're more than welcome to stick around. Cosplayers, if you would like to, feel free to use this stage to have photographs or maybe if you can all gather in that big area there so get a big group shot. But once again, folks, a round of applause for everybody that you saw and you're welcome to stick around for the results. Thank you. You have a trophy and a gift voucher and a hug from Lollipop Chainsaw. Well done. <laughs> now folks, the runner-up for best group winning a hundred dollar EB Games gift voucher is Georgie and Dakota, the little sisters from Bioshock! <laughs> The award, known as the Judge's Choice Award, goes to Martin as the Black Mage! Today's award for best costume goes to Antonius as a swordsman from Ragnarok! Yes. He takes home a hundred dollar EB Games gift voucher and the award for best group taking home a two hundred and fifty dollar EB Games gift voucher Team Fortress 2!
Beautiful. Folks, a round of applause for all of our winners and for every costume today. We will see you tomorrow. Well done, everyone.